Doji World TV Everybody don't see pre Doji World mm, Hey, I'm Doji World I'm Doji World Good morning, Labour Rights And good morning to all of the comebags Watching from the far you page Welcome to another episode of Political Hard Talk I am your host, none other than the greatest labor right alive Good morning my people, good morning, good morning <laughs> So, this morning, we don't really have a topic again for another morning We are go freestyle, see um, Dean, I'm see my call you on my next phone. Just give me a second. I see. Um, yeah, we don't really have a topic this man. We have a freestyle, but big up on ourselves. We don't know as, as per usual, it, it is politics always. You know, sometimes we kind of drift away. This man in Lexi broke out, then broke out Lexi this man in Munchi and, and Black King and Plank and Kizzy and Daddy Strength and one of them broke out like Lexi this morning. And I think I'm not here, you know, and Petal. I broke out Lexi. And Classic too. See? <laughs> eh, I miss Chin, yes. Especially Miss Chin. I want to tell you something still, you know. See, so. Yesterday, I was watching. I was watching. Um, uh, this uh, this thing from this, this it is an article from Sky News, you know, and the article goes that the UK is struggling to come out and grow. So the UK is not growing; it hasn't been growing since before the pandemic, and they want to send a delegation to Jamaica to sit down with our people to find out what is going on and by the way this is not the first time we're not going to hear something like this they want to send a delegation to Jamaica to sit down and see what is it that we are doing so well why our economy is growing and the UK is not growing I am of the personal view that Jamaica even though whatever growth we are growing is not a secret, I believe that we should not allow anybody to come in and pattern any of our things. See? Because when they were growing, they grew and they left us behind. They did not share anything with us. See? Not only the UK, I've seen it on, with Canada as well and other places. You know? So I believe that, you know, we should keep whatever secret we have or whatever we are doing to grow our, our economy we must keep it to ourselves and we must develop and now leave them behind also the uk is in a weird position right now this is another thing that is hot over here in the uk so we're gonna talk about this this morning reparation yes um the prime minister kia Starmer is in talks right now and you know he has not ruled out reparation, but the UK, the, 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 the masses of the United Kingdom, so the white population especially, I hear them on a daily basis on the, on the radio saying that it is not them who slaved us and the people that slaved us are long dead. So they don't see any reason why they should be paying us. What we should do is learn from the lessons and move on. See? But they are failing to recognize that they are now and still is benefiting from a lot of what the people in the past did to us. They have completely graped our resources, bleed us dry, bled us dry, took the money back to Britain and they have developed. I can't tell you for a fact that the city of London was, was built, it was completely built by Jamaica sugarcane money. Now guys, me need to make a very important call. Me need to know if you full up your box now so somebody can go and moderate while I go up on the call. See? So, I'm going to jump in for me please. Miss Cutie, me see as well. Big up yourself in a girl. Claudette! 
Big up yourself this morning, mama. Mars Wayne, I'm a CA, you know. Good morning. You know, Father Classic, big up yourself. Okay. I'm big up. Kizzy, big up yourself, you know, Kizzy, I'm a number one gifter this morning. Big up yourself, Kizzy Dan. I'm always um, your number one gifter. But I know me right now. Um, what is name? Um, a DM are the number one gifter right now. If you look up to the top, you can yeah, see one, you know, two of us sitting in first and second position. But I was big enough, a person who named German, German Jacket, they gave their first gift ever on TikTok to you. So Okay, big up German every yeah, time. Yeah, big up German. Morning, morning, guys. How you all doing? Well, we're there, you know. Well, well, who are going to go in and look for a repatriation money this morning? You know, only thing. This, this, um, yesterday I saw an article where the IMF again recommended that Jamaica be studied, studied as a model um, economic policy in terms of how we manage and, and, and in terms of debt sustainability and recommend that people other countries who are having difficulties managing their debt and their economic come to Jamaica and, and sit down with Jamaica and have a talk and see how they themselves can learn from us. Why? Hello. Jamaica hat. And that is why you see investors are lining up left, right, and center to come to Jamaica to invest because the model that we have is real. Remember, so Singapore did follow. It, it, it took, when Jamaica did grow in the in the eighties, Singapore did follow the same pattern as Jamaica, you know, and 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 funding country start grow. I know you know go back, you know. You don't know about that making life got dead, you know, me. I'm dead on a call, just you know, go on and run your life, you know. I'm a kissy guy, I'm a kissy for your mother, you know, I'm a call, Lexi guy, I'm dead. Oh, classic is there. I'm a rich guy. Sorry. But, but, the persuasion, you know, when I say, what if I sleep on a way you jolly, go and sleep at Jamaica, you know, and get them the money, you know, I'm a say, go back to England, go build factory and build institution and them and them still effective right you know yeah, yeah i was so gonna you, stay so in i was gonna stay in the comments and moderate but somebody have to take the lead if if because i want to give other persons an opportunity to come and speak yeah, be so, but since as you're not you won't be your dojan we we'll stay in the box but we but guys please don't 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 be offended if we rotate the box because we have other persons in the comments and if they send a request we'll just We'll just um give somebody we're classic in Ghana now. We'll just give somebody a chance and then we can rotate and you will be back uh, in the box again, all right? Please don't be offended if if you if if we remove you. Cause we have to keep the conversation the going. Space. Have to keep the conversation going and be active, all right? Hey, hey, good morning, everybody. Trent, I want to go on to Portland. I see them a chase out Isaac. They're a class labor, right? And, and this and that. So they, yeah, they so can't yeah, come so Isaac from me. They, they stone Isaac, you know. <laughs> hey, I know that they're saying gunman for me, you know, because I remember they don't play fear. So, oh, Kizzy, I want to go on. Why are you here to go on down there? I want to look a piece of video. I sleep, I sleep yesterday and wake up and I make up a classic okay, page. Okay, so, 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 Mrs. Vaz has been doing her, her regular, you know, checks, house to house. She was at a grave digging, um, a funeral. A yeah, can we see her there, there use speed? Right, she was there. So, she's, she was, she's in the, in the Manchinil division. She's in the community of Long Road and of course i don't know because generally what i know how political parties work they try not to work the same area together to avoid them kind of stuff there unless i during a high campaign season but i guess i was at a walk around and i do theme thing and him gone a long road and miss vaz up there with our people them and them obviously have some exchange of words um Chaka fame that is the the one with PNP Dashway. His mouth was the loudest. Me hear him and the, the mayor exchange words and basically he must say a labor right make 
the pain people push him out and um yeah so, 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 so shaka fame don't so shaka fame shaka fame shaka fame just really not no shame that that me no me no understand you were rejected by the people at the polls right in, in run for the councillor up um up up in the Rio Grande Valley of Fellowship Division, he was rejected. Then the PMP removed him as caretaker. And he's still run up and down with the loudest mouth in a orange shirt. I, I just don't know what is this guy's problem. But either which way, the people them never please and not less of the people them well loyal to Miss Vaz. But they're not violent people. So it must have been something that was said disrespectful or something. Why them are chased them away. That is just my understanding of the situation, Claudette. But yeah, I got the video yesterday morning. Miss Iswe. Ah, oh, Claudette, your internet chip out. Miss Sweet, me that tell her like do, Johnny. Sweet me, sweet me. You know it, I see it. Oh, the other. Where am I going? I go one side. You know, yes, I did. The queen up there. Where am I go? I got to he must think the vice card. Yeah, but generally, generally what I, I know, him. and I, and if I, if I if if I am not right, or no can say because generally what I know, you don't go to an area when the other party is there because you know you know you gotta have support as my each other create. and what have you and it might create. cause a little so tension. If he say madan, if me no know where you could fly behind them, I tell him the up there. So if he say madan. So I just seen the go and be glad they wouldn't chase us. It was deliberate ass. because the woman that did know say the MP there in the area, he must know. Of course, they must know. So it was I, I mean, she has been there for two days, and she was supposed to have her meeting and uh, with her workers, and it was advertised that they having their meeting up there. So I don't know. Into out of order, into hype, and in he to say, well, I mean, I mean, I mean, come on, go and vote. I always come home, come vote. I'm not uncle come home for vote. Me come, me come, me, Jamaica is my home. No matter where I do a foreign, Jamaica is home. So I'm always home to vote. Am I the only one who think that? Am I the only one who think that king? Sorry, am I the only one who think that Jamaica need to drive away from that side of politics though? I hear what you guys saying. They shouldn't be there, but when is that full time we, we start drive away from that side of politics? We are. We need to be. We need to be have a, a politics where everybody, is, you know, it's conclusive to everybody. We don't need to be fighting with each other. We don't need to be when warring I, when with I each other. Think with, um, it's a king. We're not cut you. We need to cut you. But when I think why people then I go like you, and then you say in in mix up with fish, in 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 my barracuda. I hear that. I hear let that. Me, let me let me say they this. Black like king. There is a picture that the comrades are using to circulate. I don't know what they expect to gain from it, right? A Labour Party supporter. This lady, she has her little small business in the town. And she's fully clothed in green. And the day when Isaac came to Port Antonio, right? The people weren't troubling him. She, he, he greeted her. She was welcoming to him. Let Portland people know no political violence, you know. I'm not going to say we don't have a teeth and tongue argument. And I'm not going to say I've not seen incidents where, you know, it get aggressive. But Portland people not do political violence. We, we, we know, say, we know, say, we uncle and we auntie them, are a PNP and we best friend them, a PNP and we are labor, right? And the world we live good, but when it comes to political lines, we draw it. So is if him come there, of course if 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 him never come there, or if the people them will walk with him. If they did not say or do something, the people them will not re re react to them because Portland are one place. Me can tell you this: would yes, the labor right and PNP are go together, go vote in other colors or a campaign. We do it that's all that's the time. hundred percent facts. We are no war about people of Portland. I, Remember, I say the parish with the lowest crime rate, right, you know. My, I'm joking. My, I say my, my party are going to win. It's just that it is normal, normal that if you know that the other party is 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 working in that area today, you don't go there and do it because you're gonna always have people who are gonna say something and it, it creates it creates a little a little vibe. Ten, ten times I but but mm -hmm. video said it wasn't not no, no nothing serious. If people just say go away, go away. Well, when I say um, kiss, they, 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 they big. Even if I forgot directly which part the, he knows that the labor right them, then could I go our oh, next comment in ICM? Right, right. right. He never have a long road at that particular moment because he knows that the, the, the MP and her team is there.
I think that was deliberate. I think it, it was has deliberate. To be deliberate. And I, and I little ploy. I think they wanted to get some political mileage out of it and it backfired. Thank yeah. you, Mina. And I agree with you, Marjorie, one hundred percent. Not just Portland people should reject a man who called Jamaicans monkey. The entire highland yeah. should reject a, reject that man. Because if I did anybody else do it or say it, we all know it wouldn't done. Jamaicans yeah, don't yeah. keep right. forty days and forty nights. Look at Miss Netta. No, Miss Netta come and Jamaica can say food nasty. I uh, Miss Netta can't open her mouth till Miss Netta have come out and say all oh, Jamaicans united. Exactly. But we are no liberal. Uh, 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 no liberal. Uh, Jamaicans monkey and it's fine. Him. No so liberal different. candidate could never get away with something like that. All right, winner. Because like I gotta say, you see the difference between a Jamaica. And the Jamaica Labour Party and the PNP in relation to some spoken words, you make you make one uh, one of our uh, member say something when they talk about scandal bag. Look at what happened in that period. Hmm? Them take it out of context, you know. People take it out of context. You come back to 2016 when um, our Prime Minister um, when, when the Jamaica Labour Party win the election. And you're talking about banning belly and all of these things, these simple little things. The people of the country don't want to hear these things. And it's right? like you know, banning belly, they got, the correct term is bitter medicine. And the prime minister was right, correct. Right, right. And then taking and turning at the wrong way. Exactly. No. if but the game you comes delivered the military the same way. It was it was several times bitter. Exactly. Because what that mean? When 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 you look at the country's deficit, when you look at the, 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 the debt of the country, and you are going to say, look, the teachers them need to get pay, or let me put it this way, public sector balling for 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 a better wage wages, yes. The the infrastructure is deteriorating, uh, the police are not mobile, they 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 are their, their residents are just out of touch i mean the, the, the police station are out of touch the hospitals are in deplorable condition and so many things across the board you know right and then you have one set of people know who them love for them and when it stretch out something coming ahead so they don't understand that there's going to be some prudency yeah in in in, in the finances you, you need um financial phys, fiscal prudency first set to to steer the economy so you you have to concentrate first on the debt how much can you bring the debt down before you can be able to give the 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 the, 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 the um the people some raise how much can you bring the debt down that you can say to the people um we can raise the income tax threshold that was one of the first approach when the government raised the income tax threshold to 1.5 you know it was just coming out of the mountain. It was a big sacrifice them use to keep it there, to maintain it there. You know, it was sacrifice, and a lot of people don't know that. They don't know these things. You understand me? Because the debt, the debt burden was so high, and you have to be fucking out five hundred million per day to service the debt. You understand me? So the, when, you, when you reason with some Jamaican people and you tell them about the debt and what causes Jamaica to be in the situation that it is, them not care about no debt. Them say the politics are not saying you never hear where you never hear where Mark Golden said, and you stop paying on the debt and give the people them the money. That's how Peter Field come out for nationwide and say Andrew is doing a good job paying down the debt. So just imagine a Mark Golden Prime Minister with debt that will run up back. Maybe that to a two hundred ton. So when the when the when the Prime Minister talk, talk about bitter medicine, bitter medicine means to say you have to go hold you have to go ban your belly for a while. You have to go continue in the situation that you are for a period of time. Right? And that is why the, our Prime Minister hide it. You know, but I come out and say it again to nobody and keep it quiet. And allow the people to suffer so that him can bring the debt down to a certain to a manageable situation then he can start to service the things in the country now that is fiscal discipline and prudency 
And that's why me, I feel real Nigel talk, and me never know say the country could have come back. Me they give up on my country, you know, me give up. Yeah, tell the comrade them that you know, they can't yeah. tell them that for the act, then claim say, Nigel Clark a thief and, and it's like the government not do nothing. That is Already good. happened to them big eye. It could come like they use one orange cloth, tie up their face where they not see what's going on in the country. All they do is, they just want power. They just power hungry. You, you understand? understand? No, 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 so no, I never, no. never, never ever yet give up on Jamaica. I always tell people that Jamaica can't come back. I see all the West Malan, my friend used to tell me, say, yo, dog, it's a place that can't come back. And when I really see a West Malan peaceful, you know, people out in the street at 2 o'clock, I play ball in a, in a road with light and I play a domino and something. And I said to them, so I see it. I don't give up too much, you. Brilliant. Mr. I have to admit with that I agree with that is strength. Me, me sit down on the internet and cry tears one night. I mean never got Jamaica for four years. And you know when was it? Um it was during the Porsche term. I think um they come out and they say the country broke almost three 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 months left left up three months month left out what a money left the PA civil servants if so much oh and God. You see, though, i think i was i think those days it was it wasn't i5 i think it was facebook i'm a sit on i'm a sit on on the big screen back big back computer there when i'm in my living room i'm cry tears i'm never got jamaica for four years because me did totally give up and that was when my starter said to my family say look here we know want migrate but we have to go left because it cannot be we can't sit down and live under pnp um government were not doing nothing for the country so i don't like wanna like give up for say oh jamaica after in uh, uh, um deteriorating its beauty no it was the leadership we couldn't we, we couldn't deal with it no more right at this man you know that is straight me at least one clip with karen cross you know um when him at him talk about pj hope pmp suffer on a pj patissa pj only making friend there rich and get bush through at the air jamaica run up air jamaica in a debt you understand cause if you lose with airline you understand what i mean i say so when when a comrade come out of the nest and they talk that the way you expect me suffer on a pj me don't know about nobody else but me suffer on that government so if you're a PMP, we are in a position can say PJ, no help, no, no comrade. I just seen big friend them how much people get rich out of PJ government. What you expect me if you say where I labor right? Eh? Me suffer on a PMP. That's why I ask me I work hard for Andrew getting third. We can't go back. We can't turn back. Young people, we can't turn back. Exactly. Uno summer uno just a ban at a deer. Uno never I'm feel a PMP government. It rough. It tough. Right, God. I want to say this. During the period leading up to the election with Bruce Golding, let me tell you now this, man. Me, me get so brave that me, when me tell a man, say, how me pray to God that me get dream of Bruce Golding and Adisha out in the middle of a field having discussion them 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 put them them other members apart it was a group of them you know them walk out in the field but them leave the rest of the group and the two of them out in the middle of the field the green field and they were having this discussion you hear what me I tell you and when me wake up out of the dream you know I mean, I say, my God, God answer my prayer, you know. And I did something, no, say, Bruce Golden can't lose election again, you know. Me remember an election day. Me, me drive from polling station to polling station. And when me see all skinned people, them, pan them bike, you know, brother. And I go through the whole thing, you know. I, I try to instigate the people, them, in such a manner that the people, them, vote for the, for the PNP. Me say, watch a man, me, me, me lift my voice. Me lift my voice from police station to police. Me say, God, not nah, sleep. Bruce cannot lose. <laughs> me say, Lord God, that time me a cry, you know. Me a cry, living and through your water, you know. Because me know what I'm saying. You know what? You know what? That was a strategy the PJ used when he put Porsche, give hand the button to Porsche, you know. You, know you understand? Then did I use Sykes? That's why I give Porsche the button. 
good morning. I just wanted to say that. Um, when we say, when we say, when we say, let Marlene talk, has she been in the box for a bit? Please. Okay, I'm ready. Morning. I just wanted to say I was listening to the news in Barbados um, a couple of days ago because I normally listen to Caribbean news because I have businesses in the Caribbean. And Mia Motley is praising Andrew Holness for how he is handling Jamaica financial debt right now how the country is growing from strength to strength i heard it on the news and i was so proud to hear that she's saying that right now mr Olis is on the right path i almost broke down in tears when oh, i heard it so please if yeah, you can record it right and through. post it or send it to somebody who can post it please get, I, catch the I next did, news I didn't, I didn't catch i didn't um think it I, do, I was just going through the news from caribbean country to caribbean country and i heard when they say that mr oldness she says that mr oldness is doing a good job right now handling jamaican um economic right now i heard it yesterday i heard it and i almost broke down in tears we're find the clip we know we have to search the internet for it but if the imf but if the imf is having jamaica as a poster child it would be ridiculous of any other country to say otherwise imf is the biggest lender of finances across the world the largest resource is the largest reserve of cash that is helping countries out of the gutter or some people would say they're putting other countries in having to make as a post of finance of the farm then anybody else can say anything else i say something different um, when I think Antigua and Barbuda is also adapting the Prime Minister's social housing plan as well. They are, they are a side on the news as well. Marlene, can you tell us um, where did you get the source? Which, which news station was it on? Um, I, can't rem I can't remember, you know, I cannot remember. But what I'm going to do, I have a girlfriend who works in Barbados and she works at the radio station. I got to ask her if it was their station that was playing or, or something like that. I got, when I come off of my phone, I'm going to ask her. And if it is, I got to ask her to send the vice clip or something for me. But I heard it yesterday because I normally follow the news in the Caribbean country where I have businesses and find out what is going on. So when I heard it yesterday, that Mayor Hopley was saying that. Oh, go ahead, sir. Just say that we can type in Google that Mayor Hopley give praises to Andrew Bullness administration. Something must pop up. Well, we know we have to do it because, I mean, let me tell you, a lot of people not rate me and 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 enough people as a cusser me one labor me not cuss me i like me a i like her because i like strong women you understand whether she want to become her or not since she's not my prime minister me not really responds where our, our political leaning is but a lot of jamaicans love put me over andrew and if me is giving the prime minister praises my prime minister my my michael my Andrew Michael, Dr. Wellness there. If she's giving him praises, we need to have that clip. Because I want to hear where comrades are going to say no. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Proverbs. You know, honestly, I'm here missing everything. And that is strength came back where, when the toll road building Portmore. And I'm here crying. Why I'm crying? Yeah, because I remember. I, I remember when PJ, um, when the toll road, Boy said the toll road is supposed to be like Dyke Road, and PJ said no. If you build that, the, the toll road on Dyke Road, put more than will never use it. And from that day, I me never liked PMP for a long time. And when we get the right to vote. I said I have to vote for Jamaica Labour Party. The first time I voted was Bruce Gold I vote for. And honestly, 
if Portmore or Jamaica go back to the PMP, we're going to suck salt to wooden spoon. We're going to suck salt to wooden spoon. Mark Golden do not have a plan, a future. Nothing at all for Jamaica. Only plan and future them have is to rape the country from back way. And that's all they've been doing for years. I was at my cousin funeral yesterday and I see the fishy one come in at the funeral. And me just step out of the funeral. Cause I don't know who invite the fish to the funeral. Fish for staying in them aquarium. Who fish a price? Jesus Christ. I can't shut up. <laughs> no, but you have to identify the fish. You have so many fishes, it's a whole school of them. So you have to identify the fish, sir. I'm going to talk to my cousin and comrade. My cousin was supposed to turn nine grave this last day, yesterday. Right? I honestly mean a lie, not in a PMP. If me, me I got say it, the John, I better let them come out from me. If, if me could have killed all like, the PMP, let me do it. Me do it. I have family who are comrades and they are good people. He's just they choose a political lineage. Right? Uh, I don't I don't believe in that, but we just said our sorry. We may auntie who are my mother is a stanch comrade and I love him to death. Even though I, tell I, me, I, I reach at my state. I reach at I reach at my statement. Yes, I reach, reach at it. We can we not promote we not promote violence. It's a PNP thing. We not we not promote physical violence. Even though my auntie tell me say every time I come from the ground, she has switched the labor right. I mean alone can make you switch. You see me? Because honestly, it put tears in my eyes that I mean, I, mean, I slap me about. I feel it. I'm passionate about my party, and me I'm. I want to see to the Jamaica Labour Party do have in a in a Portmore and me, me tell a man say I'm willing to work when they get that seat there. If it take me to go there at night time or daytime, I'm willing to work to get that seat there. Yeah, watch out. You know we don't have to crab it for all I see them in a Jamaica. We want them still enough, but we don't have to crab it. We can't keep or we have a keep government. Nothing wrong with that. 36, no. is, 36 is good enough, my boy. Come on, certain seat we need. Certain seat we need. You see, I see the more. We need it. You see, you see, you see, you see, central, um, fixed that seat. The people must suffer. The people must suffer around there. Let me agree with that. But I yep. them want to suffer because they don't want to change, change him. I them want to suffer, you know. <laughs> the politics you know <laughs> when, 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 when if you want to be if you want to enlighten on yourself about well, certain that, things there are people around there we kill the people them, you know? so not yeah to... yeah you know yeah, you take a map when you take a map and you look you can look on certain seats you see the you see the, the parish of saint james very 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 vital seat that we must retain very very vital seat to the to the economy to the government of jamaica anybody with farm government and not have said james no make no sense then i have said james support you see what i say true right so you see all the west the west important to it too especially you see with a country where um tourism is our, our, our main earn um income earner in terms of foreign exchange so you see those you see you see a portland is a parish where the, where, where the government to pay specific attention to i uh, have in them in them in them in them in them winning columns sent on yeah definitely because this, this this parish is bringing a lot of revenue my, my, my kid, what really going to portland yesterday come here sir the next fish must come there and run him away how I really am. My master Portland is a big parish. She was in the community of me now. I answer to it the last time. May I answer to it to the last time? So all who are listen on the tell on that rest of people. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Vaz has been doing her house to house and her support and her and her little stuff in the long bay. In the long bay, in the long road area, right? That is oh, in the oh. Manchinil Division. Manchinil Division. Manchinil Division. So such brother. 
pick up in P in people em, and then leave gone up there i don't know exactly how it started me just know that there was exchange of words and i can see based on video evidence and also witness um witness evidence that the aggressor was actually shaka fm i didn't hear that isaac himself say anything but me here say shaka fm was the one so of course the people have run them with so it must have been some kind of disrespectful behavior i can't say if it's him personally but then people are loyal to them party and loyal to them government and then no one see no pmp up there i just the truth never do nothing for them over the years and them have them good good mp who they love and she was actually on the ground i don't know if at that particular moment she was there but i know that the mayor was present the mayor mayor thomas thompson was up there and him in my shaka film was exchanging words but that's it then run him away let me tell you something now when people come up portland them think port antonio is the parish and port antonio is just a town and they say have a concentrated um set a, a, a pnp so i had come and in fee say yeah 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 down in that town but i know say work in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, the inner parts of the parish we don't want to see no we don't want to see no no pnp i just the truth they are them orange you saw why your freak was the club mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, up there, we have a devil because so I was still. But, well, guys, one of us said, Come, and can I get a little morning. update, please, on the mayor of Mandeville and what is going on with him? Sorry to cut him, my sister. Listen, I'm in the wrong place because we don't want to talk about a model MP, a model MP where you perform this band deeds and the work of one verse. One verse. You want to me can me talk about Miss Vaz all the time and people might think so just become a labor. Miss Vaz not just did a for labor, right? You know, she look out for all the comrade them too. So enough comrade. No one see eyes at themselves. Tell them I say where them I go. But the, I mean him is just another sacrificial lamb like how they send the man. And it was a big, big, big mistake on the PNP's part. And them I go continue to learn. Them can't see back East Portland. We will not. We will not. And when me speak, me I speak for entire East Portland and West Portland. We will not, not vote in the vases. And I just the truth. Yeah, man. They work. Yeah, they get man, things man. done. When you talk about accessible, me in a live West Portland, but me have my business on a West Portland. And when rain fall, uh, I'm gonna I'm get flood out. I'm them say. Kizzy, reach out to the MP. I may reach out to the MP within and MP within seconds. My MP available to me. That is that is and member man or don't let put there, but him available and him can tell me he say, go to this agency, that agency. This is what you need to do. This is what you need to do. And that is a minister of government who have a thousand and one things to attend to in a fi a listen in a fi have available in WhatsApp number available to the public right and just like how him can tell the entire jamaica said this is my whatsapp number send me a message with regarding anything regarding jps or regarding um his ministry is available as same sign available to the constituents so me could i ever know one of them as my mp i mean ask her what this who name advert my name mistake they make and put in around something so you take your bank off Glad that your mic open. Oh, sir. No, it lock. You ain't over there. No, your mic open. We hear you. <laughs> no, man, it may lock my mic long time. Um, Can somebody just give me a little update? Okay, my, it was in a cloud that would not hear you, you know? They want me to do nothing because there's something said cross where something don't know what it was. All right, click. touch it again and, and close it back. Can we, yes, he closed the now. All right, Miss Marlene, what were you saying? Yes, I was just saying that I wanted a little bit of update with the mayor of Mandeville, what was going on with him because um, um of the, the statement that he had made about um, not wanting the police down there. What, what become of that? Um, I haven't heard anything else. 
is he going to resign? Is it that they're going to? You know, you know, she my dog shit. Plus, him care. I mean, government reign supreme when he come on to um, crime and violence. So, him does have. DM, why you, why you know, request the box and then you and then you're gone? But I mean, no, I mean, no, I mean, see you. So, will you pass up in the comment? Come back, man. Nobody run your comrade, but you're not you're not for run. Come come state your point because you were saying a lot of stuff. And then you request the box, you get the box and then you jump. Make the government do what I do. Why DM? Yes, DM. What you say now? Good morning, sir, madam. Who is it behind the account? Morning. So I am not a comrade, huh? But I just wanna okay. ask what, I just wanna it don't ask. matter your what. Yeah, I just Wait, wanna, what is it? I just wanna ask one question, right? <clears throat> so from Jamaica gained independence nineteen sixty two until twenty twenty four, right? We have nine prime ministers, six JLP and three PNP. So I wanna know how PNP mash up the country and JLP have a stronger outcome in a prime minister tell me how can like me young to this thing i mean i really know about this i'm just want to know all three greater than nine easy, easy answer that. Huh? you have to you can look at the picture now the nine in that regard you have to look at the term yeah but like term. like like nine people over three people nine, you make no, sure no, no, no. Nine, nine brother it's six as you said um, DM, yeah, yeah, name yeah, the yeah, nine six. name the nine please dm your mic close yeah yeah and don't and don't talk over people because you yeah, like when daddy's trying to talk or somebody you can mute can we all give you a chance we all go mm -hmm. it's a conversation okay yeah, so that's the question that I want to ask. All right, that is strange. Your turn now. All right, let me share this with you now. Um, you cannot look at the nine pe people that becomes the um the leader of the party or are the head of government. You have to look at the term which in which they serve, right? For example, in the in the sixties, you would have understand that the country has grown somewhere in the 18 percent gdp right that goes to show that the country was doing well under well. this trend well under this trend mr mm -hmm. dm do you understand what gdp mean yeah we know what it mean gdp or gdp 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 that is trend please when i know i speak if i can break it down as best as possible i've been begging labor rights to do this yeah, that is gross domestic product. Which gross have, domestic product. Okay. What, 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 what does gross domestic product mean? Because you have a meaning. Yeah, what does it mean? It has to do with goods and service, right? Yeah, yeah. I realize yeah. that the youngster then understand what GDP means. So when you tell them that it, it go over their head. See? <laughs> <laughs> we have no I know it's a number of us here, so I mean when you know that's how it goes when you're when you're when you're delivering the gospel, you have a lot of faculty with you, you know what I mean? That that was what happened. So I am saying that one government controls the 60s, and in that period we have growth in the economy in such a manner that a number of schools was built and police station and a number of things take place in an infrastructure wise and all of these things in the 70s now when the government changed what happened in the 70s is that that government yeah instead of growing the economy right make some statement which he has to which he carried out right and he took the money that was there looking at the gdp yeah or the, the reserve took it and decided and said all right we are going to help the farmers because he mentioned farmers so he said he's going to help the farmers how did the approach the approach that he take to help the farmers is take the money and distribute it to so-called farmers because not everybody was farmers but them let themselves make it look like they were oh, farmers that is strength that is strength the daddy strength go land him asks a specific question regarding no, him saying i'm breaking it down yeah but he he... Say, the question okay. no hold on 
he is he is asking why is it that you have nine to three and the and no and the, no and the country it's not nine to three it's six to three oh three six, that's why i asked him officially to name the nine the nine and i asked no, him to name the nine um, um what um, PM. The question, this is what I understand, what I get from the question. What I get from the question is that how is it that the, the PNP mash up the country in their in their tenor and the JLP grow the country having six and right, the PNP so, right, so having me, three? Let me chime in, sir. That is strength. Um, DM the palm pass, but when him come back, let me just chime in, sir. So um, DM, you hear me? Unmute yourself. Yeah, man, may I hear? So we would have had several JLP um, prime ministers leading up to the 1972 elections. Mm. Yeah. During 1968, 69, and 70, the Jamaican economy, so a gross domestic product, was growing significantly. And gross domestic product mean overall growth so when time we when time we take all our industry them together tourism farming agriculture um we are calling now we call tourism already mm -hmm. transport health when i take all i think them where we, where we gain money from and put them together backside all of these things at the end of the year we put all of it together export and all of that and we see how much money we make See? So that is basically gross domestic product. So if we make profit at the end of the year, then we economy is growing. You understand mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So during 1970, when we hand over power to um, the great Michael Joshua Manley, he's not so great to me, but he's great to a lot of people. See? Mm -hmm. when, when the JLP hand over power to him in 1972, right? We hand him over gross domestic product growing at 18%. So 18% more than what we usually have. We hand over to him. Mm -hmm. See? By 1973, the Jamaican economy was in negative growth. So look into this. You get, you get it at plus 18. And now it went to zero. Then from zero into minus in the space of two years. Mm -hmm. Why did that happen? Michael Manley used his own personal ideology. How will we say personal ideology? His own personal belief. It's like you dating a girl and she wants to go in a church. And she loves you. But you, you're not ready for going to church yet. See, she has tried to force you, but you, you're not ready. She end up and leave for your church, brother, because of this or she wants it. See? See? But this is what happened. Michael Manley used his own personal ideology. See? So... He never did a thing about everybody as, as a whole, as a collective. And when you're a prime minister, you have to lead not only for yourself and for your children. You have to lead for everybody. You have to take a decision. And taking that decision, now everybody now will come with you. But you still have to take a decision where it's going to benefit at least the masses of the people. And when I say the masses, the majority of the, peop of the people in the country. So Michael Manley now, because he had this socialism agenda, to turn Jamaica into a uh, authoritarian. You know what authoritarian mean? No. Me mute uh, your mic in a DM because you can't brush your teeth in the live. You have to have manners. So, so uh, whenever you want to answer, you answer and mute back, please. Come here, you brush your teeth. So yeah, authoritarian, mean, authoritarian mean one party system. One party have total control. It's communism. So, them have total control. There's no elections. And whatever you earn, them take it from you and them distribute it to everybody equally. That's what it should be. But, you understand? We know so them things in our work is still at the top. Because if I look on Cuba, see? Cuba right now is suffer from power shortages. Something where we left behind many years ago. See? Cuba, a, a people them at the top is still wealthier. If you look at Russia, the people at the top is still wealthier, the oligarchs. If you look at China, the people at the top is still wealthier. So, then don't you create any wealth to Illucre, man. That's what Michael Manley was trying to do.
And in doing so, in sort to buy out the Jamaican people. And this is where the licky licky culture come in in a Jamaica where you have to stretch your hand to everybody. Nobody no want to work. You see, before 1972, the Jamaican people was a proud people. Your granny and your grandfather would tell us, listen man, me used to go to school, you know. Me never have no shoes, me never have no bag, but me mix up my myself. See? When Michael Manley came, Michael Manley was giving away the money. All of the money that we're supposed to make for keep the country afloat, he gave it away to his friends and to people who support his party. And that in turn crashed the Jamaican economy. See? And when he crashed the Jamaican economy, guess what? Me and you we go to school and we get with two and three subjects. We start get up across the border. See? Some people like Shibada. Not people like me would get up like Shibada. We just get up do. Is it there, say? So here what happened now? We start have a brain drain in a Jamaica. Right? And when we start to have a brain drain in a Jamaica, all of our industries start to falter now. See, everything start come crashing down. And before you know it, Jamaica is in negative 500 million dollar US worth of debt. And we still have pay for that till this day because of Michael Manley. So it started from him. See? That was a category seven hurricane under Michael Manley. Right? Then Michael Manley hand over the reins of power. No, people are going to tell you about CIA like John Daniel in a son and them things. But we was fighting against a necessary evil. Michael Manley wanted to follow Fidel Castro coat tail and turn Jamaica into a communist country. Right? We could not have allowed that because we're a free market country. We're a capitalist country. This is how our country was modeled from half of the British system. And we still have that till this day. See? Here comes Andrew Holness and it is working. But before we get to Andrew Holness, we had a category 99 hurricane called Percival James Patterson and Omar Davis, who in the early 90s crashed the Jamaican economy. Ever hear about Finzak? Yeah, man, me hear about Finzak. All right. All right. So before, before we get to Finzak, I'm going to tell you something. The Jamaica Labour Party would have returned to power in 1980. With the help of the United States, we're not going to deny. But Michael Manley was making some very erratic statements. And in a, in a, in a system, uh, in a country that is controlled by warmongers, and Jamaica is not in a position for to defend itself. Is it that we side with them, or we people them going to starve and dead for hungry? Michael Manley never cared about we people them. Papa Eddie did. See? And Papa Eddie walk and he kiss all kind of ass all over the place so Jamaica could have get back on its feet. And within 12 months of him returning to power, the Jamaican economy started growing again because he have to borrow all kind of loan, go to IMF, and he kick start the Jamaican economy. See? And when he kick started the Jamaican economy, Jamaica started to grow again. But guess what? The Jamaican people, because they got so used to the handout and the licky lickyism and sitting down and can and rubbing out their hand middles. See? Michael Manley brought that country in a Jamaica, you know, before, brought that culture in a Jamaica, you know. Before that, Jamaican people used to go out and factory, go out and cane bush, go out and farm. Them used to do what they have to do before Michael Manley came. See? Michael Manley brought in the culture where it tells you that it is okay for you to sit down and do nothing and the government should look after you but if you want to work and produce and be productive where is the government going to get money from to help you all See? right so Dujan, basically more and dm for the on the right track because he asks a very simple question when you listen to it but based on the long and short of what you and daddy strength is explaining to him how three versus six and yet still we are saying that is the tree mash up jamaica because during the tree when they are serving as government when the pmp is in power the country not grow there is no infrastructural development I was into it, you know. did that take yeah, man. Long, but. but me just want to make yeah. sure i said they understand what you are saying yeah, man, me yeah, 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 you're still here. Yeah, yeah listen. Man, yeah, yeah, get man. what I'm saying. Yeah, man, me I listen to him. Me understand what you must say. Oh, and I'm okay, man, right? Me but, I listen to him. Me I take a long road, you know. But at the time, me just 
This thing ya, uh, it kind of difficult. I tell you, God Almighty, the truth. The way things look, because. How old will you be, my boss? We are 25 Friday coming. Um, wow. We'll see why. Um, me see where politicians saying you should support your local farmers, right? Yeah. Ah, all these things. And yet still, everything I import. Nobody yes. now nah, no, me no see no factory. Me understand say JLP I do a good thing. You see them I do a lot of good stuff, right? But like yeah. things where you say for better economy, like if you plant your own stuff, you can export, right? I mean no see none of that happen. The only thing me I see a road a bill and uh, house. That's all. Just road a bill. Let, 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 me, let me answer this one right here by asking DM a few questions. DM, do you think Jamaican farmers are producing enough to feed the entirety of Jamaica's population? No, but like the government... Has okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on before you go into that. So your answer is no. Yeah. So if we do not produce enough by our local farmers, don't, isn't it clear that we have to import? Yeah, but for how long now? All right, next question. I understand you. I understand your point, you know, but next question. Um, so we we don't produce enough, right? Do you think government should take over farming in no, this country? I think they should invest into it. Okay, you think so, which means you do you 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 don't know the actual information and the the investment the government has actually put into farming that's what you're telling me now yeah i don't know because i i, I don't okay I, so he, he he's just giving that farming is an interest of yours i'd suggest you follow um the agriculture minister follow all his um social media accounts so when he's going about and distributing the millions and all the the, the grants and, and and fertilizer and everything from water supply to water tank improvement, everything that is being given to farmers in this country, then you would have the right information and can farm a factual opinion, a factual thought on this on this matter. Yeah, I understand all of that, but what because else? While, while your questions are valuable, you know, the truth is you do not have all the facts. No, I don't and have and all. And, right, and your questions cannot be answered without you getting the facts. No, but you know the right, so teach me the right. That's why I'm that, that's why, that, No, I'm pointing you to the source. That's the thing with us, you know. We like when people give us a fish. And that's why oftentimes we get bad information because we like when people tell us what's up. When we have the power and mental fortitude to go and get the information, get the truth for ourselves. That's what I'm saying to you. I can tell you a whole lot of things. But guess what? The practice of you finding the right information is more of my intention. Bless you. Good morning. Good morning. Because good morning. Well, well, good morning. Because well, I, I, I don't good want morning. to sound My classic harsh. talk to the end. I don't want classic. to sound harsh. Well, After traveling, give let classic a chance. And, yeah, let me finish up on him. I don't want to sound harsh. I don't want to see, sound like I'm coming down at you. But it's a practice that we all have to get into, bro. Because this is just one aspect of your life. I'm sure there's many other aspects to your life which it is imperative that you are able to have to think the critical thinking skills and is able to solve and bring forth solutions to any other aspects of uh, any other aspect of your life it is a good practice bro get the information from the source and know what's up regarding any interest you have in this life yeah all right go ahead for the classic before classic go go ahead me just want to make an announcer for the year 2023 um um agriculture forestry and fishing contributed to 9.02 percent of economic growth in that year up from 1.8 percent you know and the government has pumped billions of dollars more than the hundred i believe 300 million the pnp um, um pumped in agriculture in their last year in government and this government has I believe surpass three billion. Classic, classic can 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 um enlighten us further as to the amount. All right, thank you. So, what a man named D D M. So in the nineties, there was no agriculture sector, literally no agriculture sector because the PNP would have killed agriculture, the dairy industry, 
that died also. I when I said died, I mean it died. We couldn't even get cow's milk to drink anymore. We were living off um, powdered milk. Like Lasco. That is why Lasco became such a big household name with the Lasco milk powder and these things. All right? Now, let us fast forward. The last time the, the PNP took government between 2012 to 16, they spent only $350 million on agriculture. Yeah, man, for the four, four and a half years, only $350 million. Can you, can you just guess how much the, the JLP would have spent on, on agriculture the last three years? Just the last three years. We're not talking about eight years, three years. Just make a wild guess. No, I mean, I know how much they're spending, you know, so we couldn't even make a wild guess, honestly. All right. So we spent three, too, you know. But guess what? We spent $3 billion. $3 billion. And for burial alone, the recovery, we spent over $2 billion. So that's $5 billion right there versus $350 million. Now, let us say you're going to Hard Trust and you're doing something agriculture-based. Um, my friend Trudy, who's my neighbor, may I look on her house right now? She just completed her level three. And she said to them, I want to do a pig farm. And she will be getting a grant of $300,000. I asked Trudy, what if you have 50 people in that classroom? Would they be getting it too? She said, everybody will get it. So that's 300 times, um, 300,000 times 50. You do the maths. You see how much millions that. You understand? Yeah. And um, if, you are a, if you are a fisher folk, if you are a young fisher folk, your age group, you can get a boat from the, the, in the government to do your fishing. The government will be giving 20 boats, fishing boats. And if you are already a fisher folk and you want like an engine or certain tools and equipments, the government is also giving that. So in terms of um, agriculture, with, with the PNP, we, we didn't even have agro-parks in Jamaica. We never had an agro-park. Agro and in Clarendon alone, that's the parish I'm from, we have three agro-parks versus none in the entire country under the, Jamaica, under the PNP. You understand? And in St. Elizabeth, which is our breadbasket, we see irrigation. We see Manchester having irrigation. Clarendon has it, St. Catherine has it, I think St. Mary has it, and a few other parishes versus under the PNP, just a few parishes having it. All right, so when we look at even onion production, 49% of the onion that we use is being produced in Jamaica versus none under the PNP. We are producing more than 20% of the Irish potato that we use that we use in this country and um yam we now have a yam classic associate please. classic classic please you see certain terms remember that not everybody not understand so somebody is asking what is an agro park you have to explain these things and so, remember that dm is a young guy very okay. young he don't know much like a strike so agro park is is government land that they give you to to use it with a with a small fee so the small fee for a for an acre is like ten thousand dollars and you will get irrigation water to go with it and you pay probably one two thousand dollars a month for the for the the water that you use so versus the pnp as i said we never had those and right now as we speak if you have a, if you have steam lands and you want it to be debush you can go to rada rada will help you in terms of a grant to get it um debush and and um cloud you can go to your mp also to get the kit which is a tank and irrigation hose versus the pnp not giving you those things and this yeah. is the same 10 tanks where you hear them talk about in um in westmoreland where they're saying that one person got 10 tanks when he when the person did not get even one tank so farmers are benefiting 
we have, yeah. we, have the, we have the goats, we are giving away goats, we are giving away pigs, we are giving away chickens. Um, if you have the if you have the lands and you want um pineapples, Rada will give you a pineapple. They have a pineapple, they have a pineapple um program, they have a Irish potato program, they also have a dashian program, they have a cassava program, and the list goes on and on. And if you go to Ebony Park Heart and you do um greenhouse technology when you are finished you can get a greenhouse to continue yeah you talk, you talk about the um the agri park right mm -hmm. the place that I plan right i know where one is in clarendon and it's out of use no one using it which one is that the one down by um look at here you can drive through that place and go to Mandeville. Right alone. Oh, God, but I can tell you the same one that you are talking about. Yeah. I was getting him lands down there to use. My friend right now is using that same property to do his sweet potato. How long now? Because I used to work. And, and I'm telling you about since here. Since here, may I tell you about? Okay. And I can also tell you that. When I went down there, I saw over 10 acres of um, onion being produced I'm gonna, I'm on gonna, that same place. I'm going to check it out because I used to work at that place. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to check on, it so out. It is in production. Mr. Yeah, Samuels is the manager for him for that um, park, Agra Park. And I but know that he's doing a good job. We want him to understand, you know, because he's at 25, so he that come up um, at the tail end of the last PNP government, you know. And the country did not grow for many years, you know, under the People's National Party. Yeah, from, I believe from 1991 was the last time the People's National Party see growth. Straight up to 2007. Now, 2007, when Bruce Golden one day election we were still struggling we, we managed to see some 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 quarterly growth like um some 0 0.9 or 1.0 you know but we were still struggling you know then Porsche would have one back government so you don't know Porsche. apart from one time in Porsche's five years i believe one quarter in a 2006 so this would have been yeah one quarter so one quarter is three months, by the way. They see like 0 0.6 percent growth, but there were no growth. You know, um, the PNP. Well, let me tell them where. Let me tell them where to get some information. Just type in Ministry of Agriculture sectoral presentation, and you will see the booklet here. Or if you want to watch the entire video on YouTube. Yeah, actually, um, I don't know what time you guys gonna finish, but I'm driving out to work now. So when I reach work, I'll check in back on this thing, okay? DM. Yeah. DM. Yeah. There's a young youth. You must come back, please. Yeah, I'm gonna come back. But I'll you know why? Me not talk. No, me not talk generally. Come back. Be a part of the conversations because guess what happened? We like. We like. your very first question we asked. Your very first question we asked. It made me know say you're young because. Yeah. When a person going to think, oh, because the Jamaica Labour Party had more um, leaders of the party, our, our, our prime ministers, than the PMP, that, that, that was a really young question for ask. <laughs> it, it, yeah. it, 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 no, it's not about the amount of leaders. It's, the amount, the amount, but, but, it's about the amount of impact. But even that, you know, Kizzy, you yeah, can... Hold on. Hold on, um, DM. Even that... And a few with Prime Minister them, you can still point to more growth. Even then, we can point to specific yes, Prime that's Minister. Yes, that's what them. I want to tell him. Yeah. And, and, and if we if we will look on our side, um, I don't know which one of our Prime Ministers we could say is the least performing. I guess it should be there, like in terms of output, which one which one performed, like had the least growth. Maybe them still do better than the, the, the whole three of the, the, the PNP it, last... It, it, Leaders it was Bruce as Golden, government. It was Bruce Golden who had the least growth and it still was better than PJ and Porsche and, it's, and, it, and he was there for a very short time. Mm -hmm. But 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 the, the PMP don't grow the economy, DM. That is just that is just facts. Yeah. They don't grow the economy. 
and that's why we have these kind of situation now not because they serve long terms they can win election the pnp is very good at winning elections but they are not good at managing the country and that yeah. is just the bottom line that's the fact yeah, yeah. And giving out, anyway giving out ja, ja daniel in the comments he has, uh, he has been saying a lot in the comments he's now in the box and he has say he was saying that dujan was telling lies and half truths oh, so ja daniel your turn your turn sir big up yourself dm stay safe on the road my man Ooh, safe jeff dm yes i am Oh, yeah, so may I tell you, like, bless you, 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 bless let me orally say morning, I'm not yeah. sure if I, if I had said it out loud, but yeah. well, let me orally say morning to everyone, I did text Good morning, you, morning yeah, morning to everyone, yeah, bless you, bless you to everyone, kiss you, yeah, yeah, so, I don't want to know we're not color, you know, neutral, but I live here, 50 at the old, so I can, I, 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 I'm around, I understand everything will take place, so you don't speak the truth, you know. Speak the truth and cast what it will, you know. So I will, oh, oh. We are here, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah, see? So once we hide the truth, you know, we'll continue to live a lie and go in a circle. So, we are young, so like DM, where he marks a brilliant question, yes. And, and this is it. And this is it. Jamaica, enough to know the people of Jamaica is who? I don't know if I ask a people, if I ask on the panel, the people of Jamaica is who? If you can't answer this question. And if you don't, if you can't answer this question, this is what causes the confusion. You don't know yourself. The outside world know who is Jamaican people and they are fighting for the heart and the mind of Jamaican people. It's a war going for Jamaican people. Any people control Jamaican people control the earth, control the world. It is. So that is the buckle I go on. All this Russia, America, everybody has fight at Jamaica. They want control. Sir, no disrespect, but look, we hear the lies and the thing that we do. Yeah, well, we are going out, we are going out, but we have to lay the foundation who we are. So Michael Michael Manley recognize who the people are. See? See? The JLP party recognize who the people are. JLP run by America and PMP run by England. It was a war ago. So what is now? Let the meds get caught up in it. What is now? History now are showing us and proven. Because we are looking all right. All right. All right. All right. Well, I'm going to tell you, Daniel. Hold the pipe now. Explain the war between America and England. I mean, I mean, England is the father of that nation right there, so it's kind of Bar crazy. Jamaica. Anyhow, let's go. Yeah, man, I, I explain the back between England and, and, and America for the, for the I don't know. I don't know. Jamaica is one of the most creative people back in the days. 40s, 30s have come true. We display creativity. And even the outside world look. Eh? Even till this day. No, this day we mash up the creative and mash up um, politics, mash up the creativity. They deliberately do that. So I just know. So I'm just pass and impart my knowledge. Seeing as a 50 year old man, they are a look. When I youth, yeah, Jamaica. No, 50 year to ja. Yeah, yeah. So I'm Jamaica was. I mean, I not agree with what you are saying. Jamaica is still creative. Not on the, not on the scale. Jamaicans. Not on the scale where it used to Aren't be. Are you a creative person? Listen, uh, we don't, we don't, we don't need yeah, to Aren't argue. you a creative person? Yes, sir. We don't need to argue. I'm not arguing, we're arguing. We just tell you, so you, you sound like you put down the Jamaicans. But, but, no, listen, no, no, I'm not put them down. I'm going to lift them up and show you. Just, if you give me a little time, I'm going to show you what you want. You know, you know, if someone just low, you make a talk, and you flow, and just flow more, flow, please. See, I'm going to show you the issue I go on, nothing I've understood. Come to this point. So now, um, before I let you flow, you see, if you be too long, there'll be so much to unpack. So guess what? If you could go through it bit by bit and we discuss this thing point by point, it would have been more feasible. Yeah, well, you you know, stop ten I'm going to talk for about 10 minutes. But they are good while I listen to each one, get a good talk. Yeah, we lay the foundation and then you can understand where I come from. I'm not in the foundation yet. 
Yeah, man. Yes, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I'm in a hurry. Yeah, I'm in a green. You know. uh, uh, yeah, I'm in a hurry. I'm in a green. So just listen. Listen to, listen to your horse now, Jordan. Yeah. I have to yeah. go and work in about an hour and ten minute time. So we, we don't have whole day. So you have to kind of speed up the thing, you know? No, this okay. is good. Yeah. All right, now, yeah. Mm. So, remember, so enough, remember, so enough, people are reason. Remember, train a thought to lose, you know? So, you tell a couple like that. But anyway, you know. Yeah, so man, now, did I get into how England and America did a buckle for this? Yeah, yeah, that's the question. Yeah. So one one turned it into a a communist, a, a, a socialist, and one a, a go um capitalism. So it was a buckle. So now, my, um, one side look and see the creativity of the people at the time. The people are produce. Uh, Jamaica agriculture, you know, you know, um, supply the Caribbean and made it a European country. And easily, just just one parish supply Jamaica, one parish with about so food. So out of the two, Daniel, out of England and America, which one are capitalists and which one are communists? Well, America at the time come up with them idea and them philosophy of capitalism, so them that try it out. It was a stage where it never much, it never they never know the outcome. Them, them just implement it. It was a stage of implementation that go around the world of capitalism. Um, um. Just join them and we are the socialism. See, 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 say capitalism are dealing with us a one percent, you know, a five percent of the nation. But, but socialism are dealing with the grassroots come up, growth from the grassroots come up. That it no, what? So, 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 Daniel, suppose we tell us a capitalism, we can trace it back to the 16th century. Where you got to tell me, sir? Well, when it's a capitalism, it's just money. The money all is uh, and trading all is uh, going on. But we're talking about say it's family late now. And I put pump people now in each nation, I force down nation short. So that you know me, I talk about this to force down people short. People naturally live them natural life and them natural socialist life. Cause when they live natural and share and love you and make sure everybody equal that socialism and that righteousness hey, on that side. God, Daniel, like what you did say, America and England. One is giving socialism and one is giving capitalism. Which one was England giving? Well, well, England with the behind it, more like the PMP, Michael and his father. So it's more like them never really around nothing. England now forcing them, but they was dead with them, you know, and give them the run for do them a do. But so America was in socialism. So America, was America, was giving... America, CIA, and the government force it. Who was giving socialism? No, I say. Um, the Michael Manley regime at the time would have come across more, um, uh, with the word I use now, um, socialism um, facilitate the people already live a socialism life because Jamaica was a socialist no, he, country. He enforced, he enforced him socialism. So, where was he getting it from? Where was he getting that support if it was not England? So, we know, we know, we know, we know. the people naturally looking at the people, what they were doing. They were living a loving and a sharing life, a share like bartering, a go on. My grandmother used to go to town and she buy three bag of things and she send two bag of shirt right to the community. <laughs> you understand? It's a ring of them used to do that. It's like a ring set. <laughs> so, ne so next week, Saturday went to she not market, somebody else, two more, somebody else send on two more bag right round to the community. And so when you money, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bartering was taking place, take place until classic. socialism kicked in under the PNP. No, but bartering is socialism. Bartering is socialism. Socialism means that's a, a, equal, this equal this across class. the board. You understand that socialism means mean that's a, everybody equally um, across the board of things. You know, nobody no more, nobody. That's what Jamaica was living naturally yeah, now. Daniel, you don't feel like say them things that were people used to buy a share because people used to have a ride donkey. And once somebody probably have a vehicle or them could get a vehicle. So once somebody would have to go, go buy for everybody. You don't feel like that? Well, no, I don't really that, you know. It was the mindset of the people. The mindset changed now. You know, come to the mindset they look like. The mindset of the people, they were mindful of each other. No war never go on, nobody never kill nobody. Not like that, no gun never the boat, me tell about no gun never the boat, no street light never the boat, nobody never have the fence. No, I just have house put on everybody's walk past the house, gone where I go, straight through Jamaica. No road no be like me tell about these times. So the people were living in love. No, 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 Jan, 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 I think you, you I, I can't, you're saying, okay, so that society and today, you want to compare that society to, the, to today? Because the world, the world is changing, ever changing. 
No, I get the phone Sorry, guys. Wait, start. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. There's no, I tell you where it start from. So if you don't understand where it start from, you don't understand the middle and the end. All right. Jordan, J- hold on. There's two things you said that I have to, I, I hate to have to break your, 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 your chain of thought, but I have to get back to these two things that you said. No, I don't know if it passed everybody else, but it surely didn't pass me. It not pass me. You it said me socialism is righteousness. Yes, sharing. Socialism go, means go, sharing go, go equal go across go the board. Hold on, sir. Hold on. That's not right. Not God's side. That. Hold on. Let me just confirm that. Yes, yes sir. Socialism, socialism is righteous. Yeah, despite right? then label it. Hold on, but on, on the man. Sir, sir, sir. Hold on, man. Can you show me a successful society that operates under a social, socialist system right now? Yeah, Libya. Uh, um, remember Libya the white world machine down there. Libya, Anyone Libya trying to push the mid and successful is in turmoil against capitalism, right they mash it up. Saying? Libya is in turmoil. Right right what are you saying? C- Cuba, what, what millions of Cuba, Cuba sir, sir, Libya, sir, sir. Um, do you Russia, know the living, condi- the living conditions China, of Cubans living in Cuba? Do you know the living conditions of Cubans living in Cuba? Russia. China, all these people. Sir, J- Jordan, you ever been to is, Cuba or China or no, Russia? He has never. He yeah. already stated earlier. Have you traveled to any of these countries? Never. He has never. never. Let, let me answer say your question. Yeah, let me say this. I love how the live that run in the dungeon. The live that run so nice. He said in his opening statement. Everybody talk one by one. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, I'm not saying it works. The conversation is up. Is 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 on the merge. I thought I was going to talk about one time. And if you Ja Daniel, hold on, man. The conversation is on the merits of truths and facts, and if you're not speaking truth and facts, you will be contested. That is the yeah. difference with the well, way the conversation is right now. Well, it's easy to prove that um, Cuba Daniel, come up on top. Cuba is on top right now. On top. Cuba is on top. Which part? Did you Cuba is on top. Which part? The right set people out of poverty. They are they are they are achieving power. Me, me, me yeah, tell you what you want is on top. Trend, 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 trend. What are you relating to? The economy? Trend. Trend. One at a time, guys. One at a time. Please, please, please. We're not, not, please, not, please. not, not, not going to compitrivate. Let don't, me, don't, don't speak things. over each other. One at yeah, a time. Yeah, two things he said that I want to get back to. So, Cuba, listen, you don't know the living condition of Cubans. Come on, talk about them. Hold on, man. Hold on, I'm going to talk to you about We have to point out the wrong thing, the misfits that you're saying. The inaccuracies in your statement, we have to point that out because we can't just have you feed our people that as if it is truth when it's not. Oh, so you're against the man. Hold on, the man. man. Bro, hold on, the man. I'm going to allow you to speak again. Hold on. You just stated that barterism and socialism is the same thing. And that's a big fat lie. Let me explain them to you. Barter, barter system is the people exchanging goods and services instead of money. Let exactly. me tell you about socialism. Socialism is government control of goods and services. That government control everything. That's socialism. Until you get the fundamental of these two never things, have I suggest you cease and desist. Until you get these two fundamentals to an understanding, you need to stop what you're doing because that is a blatant lie and a confusion for your personal self to state that barterism and socialism is the same thing absolute nonsense yes no so can i continue so the people were already living in a barter system which is a socialist system so you want to continue in, 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 and, in, in and the misinformation you want to continue start to in the misinformation seeing so you know and i know that let yeah, 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 me, me tell you jordan yeah, I, mean, I, mean, I mean i mean bring you up in the box it, it, but it, if you if you continue to have a kind of conversation like this, may I forgot to pull you down. You know why? One minute that is strength. Let me talk with Jada Daniel. I put you in the box because we want we we, we don't we, we welcome opposing views. But if no, you're going to have this kind of conversation, wait wait sir. If you're going to have this type of conversation and not and, and not have a, and not, and not be willing welcome. and not be willing to have a conversation you, you just want to stick to where you are say then you to me is like you're preaching to us and you can't sit here and preach to it we now go accept it all right, you say me, when me Dujan was speaking about the country and the economy and the changeover from government and the growth right. you said he was speaking lies i expect you to come here to come and speak the lies you see Rasta, we respect your, your, your rastafarianism and your belief about the world because most rastas genuine good rasta people see the world now in a different way 
We not have a problem with that. But we are talking about with government and with economy. I want to hear something. I have one but, minute for 30 but, but seconds. But his, his, his beliefs aren't facts. His personal beliefs aren't yeah, facts. Yeah, but, 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 but he must go, go see, he must go start out that because that are really just, that are yeah, really just be preening. No. So, so hold on, guys. I'm going to give me one minute, 30 seconds. Let me just, because I'm hearing say, Cuban, uh, um, socialism, I work at Cuba. So listen to this. Well, this Sunday there were mass protests, not only in Havana, the capital where I'm speaking to you from, but throughout the island uh, in over 10 cities spanning from east to west. And these were mass protests, the likes of which we haven't seen in Cuba for decades. Uh, thousands of people in Havana, thousands of people across Cuba um, calling for an end to the communist one-party government, calling for medicine, calling for vaccinations, calling for food. There was a very wide array of discontent, mainly it should be said economic discontent. Um, the country is going through a, a, a vicious uh, economic crisis brought on both by the pandemic and US sanctions on Cuba, um, which were um, hardened substantially uh, by the Trump administration and have not been softened by the Biden administration. These sanctions have led to uh, um, a shortfall in hard currency that the Cuban government needs to import food or medicine and that's playing out on the streets now because people are standing in line for hours on end to buy chicken and pharmacy, pharmacy shelves are barren. Uh, there was violence both ways between protesters and police. The Cuban government has responded by saying that this is a US orchestrated campaign and right now in Havana both today and yesterday a very heavy police presence with police cars uh, patrolling and driving through Havana has ensured that for the most part right now at least there's calm in the capital. So I'm say something to you know and this is the, the ideology that I talk about with Michael Manley. The people in Cuba are suffering, they are hungry, they are sick. Why is it that the Cuban government can come down for their ideology and do what is right for them people to live and to survive? This is what Michael Manley was trying to do to Jamaica and thank God for Edward Siaga. Okay.